Hi. Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm fine, thank you. You ready? Awesome. Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. How are you, Chris? How are you today? I'm doing really well. Like interview day, so I'm I'm starting to to be a little tired. <laughs> like my ears are a little boiled, but I'm I'm very happy. I'm very Perfect. happy that everything Perfect. is back and doing promo for the for Comalize XX. So it's a good day. Perfect, perfect. I'm glad for you. Here in Argentina, it's cloudy and it's cold, so I'm happy because I love this weather. I love this weather. It's perfect for staying home, chill, working. So I'm team. I'm best. team winter. Team winter. Uh, I'm team summer, but <laughs> you know, maybe more spring than summer. I love summer, but not when it's humid. Yeah. But I like the fact that it's brighter out for for longer. Yes. The perfect. days are longer. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I want to start this interview with a maybe quiet question and typical question. That yep. is, how did you get into singing and metal music? Did you take singing lessons, or is your voice natural no, from you? No, I never took. Um, I never took lessons in my life. And um, who got me into metal music? I started, and that was '93, to hang out in a metal pub in Milano, and that's where I met Andrea and Maki. And that's where I started to go, you know, almost every day. And I also worked at, um, and I started to become more passionate about metal. Uh, and then, you know, as soon as I entered the band, of course, I, I listened to more music and then the rest is history. Perfect. And do you listen a lot of metal or do you listen to another genres? I listen to... To different type of musics. Uh, I do not only listen to metal. I definitely listen to metal, but I also listen to a lot of soundtracks, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of random music, because sometimes I'm doing something else in the house and I like to have a background, maybe with music uh, picked up by, I don't know, Spotify or Apple Music, whatever, um, based on their intuition sometimes i hear new bands and i like the fact that i can discover new bands as well because every time i like something i add it to my playlist okay good good and what are your biggest musical influences if you had to make me a top three vocalist that have influenced you what would it be mm, i never thought about other vocalists as uh influence is for me because i never wanted to be a singer in life I love to sing, but I never had the desire of becoming, you know, I never had the dream, like, I want to be a singer in a band, I want to become a rock star. I never thought about it this way, but I love to sing. Um, I always said that I love, like, black vocalists in general and their approach to music because they are expressing their their feelings instead of, like, paying attention on technique only, which I'm not interested in. For me, it's all about the heart. Um, and then there are some other singers that I, that I like, that I take as an example for, for how, how many things that they can do, like Mike Patton of Fade No More, for example. I mean, he can do everything and, and, and write and, and, and in a good way. Um, but I can't think of names that are, make me think, oh, I want to be like her or him. Perfect, perfect. Um, okay, about the new album of Lacuna Coil, I had this question. What does the cover of this new Comalias represent? It's the flower of the original Comalias, right? But no, 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 no. The the original flower, uh, the, the sunflower, it's on the original cover of Comalias. Mm -hmm. On this cover, it's another, um, it's another, it's a wild, wild flower. Not a sunflower, yeah. but a wild flower. And it's a picture that Maki, our bass player, took himself in the mountains where where he has his house, his other house. And um, and it, it is actually where we wrote the music for this record. And when we saw the image, he worked at it graphically because it's a good graphic as well. And we saw it and we said, this is perfect. Mm. We want to keep this one. Perfect. And who was the composition and recording process of this new album? And how did it was it very stressful. <laughs> Really? It was very stressful, yes, because uh, we treated it as a new record, but it wasn't uh, a completely new record. So we had the pressure of all the memories of Comalize, because obviously 
when you are reworking on a record that has been so important and such a milestone in your career, you know that you're going to be touching holy grounds and a lot of people will be like, mm, yeah, impress me with this new thing, but I'm so much in love with the original one. So for us, it was uh, a way to express creativity, but it was also a challenge because we had to be somehow able to bring back the old vibes like you were meeting an old friend but we also wanted to have a modern vibe we also wanted to have this feeling in 2022 as we would have written the record today and uh, i think uh, i think we we hit the point because we played four songs during the last north american tour and even old old school fans were crazy for the new songs and they didn't know two out of four. Hmm. So um, I'm I'm really happy that our fans are appreciating and understanding the tribute we're doing. Perfect, perfect. And to write the lyrics, how do you get inspiration? Is it difficult for you sometimes to find inspiration or is it easy for you? Mm, sometimes it is, it's easy and sometimes you get good lyrics in, in a day, sometimes even in five minutes, like for example, Speaking of the songs on Comalize XX and also Comalize, uh, Comalize, the song was written very quickly, very naturally. We wrote, I wrote down, I remember I was with, uh, I was with Maki and I heard the, the music and I wrote the lyrics right away. There are songs that are more difficult to, to work with because the way we, um, our process to write lyrics, it's, it's a little bit awkward. Because we like to sing on on a, on the music with a fake English, because we want the sound to be perfect with the music. So we build the lyrics that have to have a specific sense over the sound. So it's it's, <laughs> it's a double work, but it, it works for us. Perfect, perfect. And what is it like to work with Century Media Records? The band is working with them since 1997, right? Yeah, we worked with them since the very beginning. We had some other opportunities, many other opportunities, because we've been asked by by majors uh, directly. I mean, now we are distributed Sony, so now things are different. But uh, we always wanted to be sure that we could have complete freedom artistically. Uh, we wanted to be sure that we could have done it the way we wanted to do it, not only musically, but also booklets, uh, you know, shows, uh, things to say in interviews. We didn't want any restraint. We didn't want anybody from a label telling us what to do and how to do it. Um, and sometimes when you work for a big label, you kind of have to enter in this uh, spiral. Mm -hmm. While if you work with an independent usually you're way 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 more free to do whatever you like and uh, there is more cooperation because of course they want you to work well because you know you're bringing something to to a smaller label so they care about you perfect perfect and um, about the videos from this album yes. how how were and how long were the videos for the songs they rob and swam made we did them in, um, was it one or two days? Let me think. Uh, no, it was in two days. Mm. In two days. In Italy? In, in Italy, yeah, nearby Milano, but in two different studios. So because the tightrope one was filmed in a big hangar and the swamped one was filmed in um, against the green screen in a studio that had more rooms. Um yeah, but uh, in two days, in two days, two, two videos. Good, good. Um, how do you take care or maintain your voice? For me, you are one of the best female voices that exit. In <laughs> Thank you. I don't do anything <laughs> specific. I think that throughout the years without, you know, having a particularly healthy lifestyle, I took good care of me. I, I I like food, but I always like the balance. So if one day I, I eat junk food, maybe the day after I try you know, to balance with eating better stuff. Um, I, I, I am not a smoker. I try to sleep as much as I can. But if, on the other side, I don't know. I always sing with my heart and I don't do anything particular to take care. 
and I'm Italian, so I sp- I talk a lot, which is not good. <laughs> usually. Okay, okay. Um, about your career, yes, how yes. was your experience being in the metal industry as a woman? Have you received bad comments about it? Ah, in the beginning, it was weird because there were not so many females, not only in bands, but even even less in the crowds. Uh, all the crowds when I started were basically made uh, out of guys. And it was interesting to see how they were changing, uh, to see a, a lady on stage and maybe, you know, say something maybe disrespectful, not towards me, but towards the fact that there was a woman, oh my God, a woman who's singing metal, it's forbidden. And to see how they were changing their uh reaction during the gig and by the end of the gig they would all shut up and cheer with the others so it's been really interesting for me to see in these years the progression and the evolution and now if you go to most of the gigs you find at least 50% of women mm-hmm. which is which is great sometimes even more mm, and i'm yes. happy about that because music should not have a uh, separation of genres i mean music is for everybody Yeah, exactly. And has no sex. Exactly, exactly. And um, who was the experience of mega collaboration with Dave Mustaine? Hey, <laughs> that was the weirdest thing ever because Dave and and Megadeth have never made collaborations before, and here I am. I was the first person to do it, and a lady. So it was very, very, very strange, and also. Uh, Atul Lemond is one of my favorite songs from from Megadeth, so I, I I thought that it was a bigger coincidence, and it was a strange experience because I met them for the first time uh, when we did the video for Atul Lemond, but not during the recording because the recording was made in in the UK, and it was just me and the producer in this place in the middle of nowhere. And I remember that I arrived the evening before and the day after I recorded every part, the parts that Dave was singing, the parts that I was supposed to sing. And I added a lot more stuff because I wanted them to to have the freedom to pick up what they liked from what I recorded. Hmm. So it was very strange because in the beginning, I, I just went there and recorded it and I met them weeks after. But it was great. I mean, we love Dave. We love Megadeth. And he's always been really, really cool with us. Good, good. And will you like make a, another collaboration with that, another artist or you don't interest in make more? No, more I love to collaborate if it makes sense. Um, mm. If if I like the song, if I, especially if I like the person who I'm collaborating with, uh, I think it's, it's, it's cool to do. Uh, I also like to experiment on other stuff. I did some uh, collaborations, uh, but um, for different things for the video game world. I wrote a song for the for um, Diablo 2 Resurrected. That it's a video game that came out uh, lately. I like to write other stuff and and work with other people because it's always interesting, you know, to to see how your um, the way you work collides with other people's style mm-hmm. it's always interesting perfect now tell me about your hobbies your hobbies i you like the the video games right <laughs> yes 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 you you see a lot of things here right yes, here yeah. about, yes, yes. about my hobbies i actually have a lot of hobbies what's, I mean, you, what's uh, your favorite video game video game ever uh well i i have a sort of a top three that i always say but It, it's much much extended but i always say final fantasy 7 oh yeah, uh yeah. resident evil the first oh. one and silent hill the first one but there are so many games that i love from mm. assassin's creed uh you know life is strange uncharted uh resident Wait. evil remake is coming yes yes yeah. yes yes the the four Yes, yes, that's yeah. my favorite game. It's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know? I never played it. I never played the original one. So I because no. I, I no because I didn't have that the the PlayStation that was working uh, with that game, and I started to be on tour. So in mm. that period, I wasn't playing video games because I was always on tour, mm. and the only consoles that we had were sometimes on the bus. But I wanted to spend time, you know, living, mm. you know, living like life, yes. <laughs> and not staying home or on the bus. 
Mm. Uh, and now I started again. I mean, there are mm. so many. I can see so many games that I still have to play around. God of War, yeah. you like? God of War, I can't wait for the. Yes, we mm. ordered the limited edition. I'm mm. very excited for Ragnarok. <laughs> um, yeah, and Devil then May I Cry. Also... Devil May Cry. Devil May, Devil May Cry. I played a little bit with the fifth, but then I stopped because I. The thing is that now I work with so many different companies that I get a lot of games and I buy a lot of games and I always want to find the time to play them all. So I start them and I play them most when I'm on Twitch, but then I can't finish them because it takes a while. So I got returned to Monkey Island as well and I started it, but I didn't continue it. <laughs> I'm um, lacking time. I am play a lot uh, currently League of Legends. Do, uh, do you play League of Legends. I never played LoL because... Uh, I don't know. I w maybe because I was scared. Because don't I play lol. Don't play lol. No, it's because a drug. I, I it's heard... a drug. It's a very bad drug. I know. I know. And that's the same reason why I don't <laughs> intensively play Warcraft as well. Mm. Uh, but th the thing is that I'm I'm a little bit a little bit afraid because I heard that the community it's a little bit weird, especially mm. with the newbies, and I would suck. So I would play mm. just for the fun <laughs> of it, and I don't know if I want to enter in. In a, in a circle where people are criticizing me for not being good enough. Mm. And it's like, for me, video games have to be entertaining, relaxing, and they have to bring me good vibes. Mm. I don't want to be competitive. I mean, I, I can be competitive with mm. myself, but yeah. I don't want to get to the point of like being hated by yeah, someone yeah. who is so competitive that mm. forgets it's a game. Mm. You don't have a, a Twitch channel? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, perfect, it's been it's perfect. been more than two years now. That that's what I what I was telling you. I mean, sometimes I play I play video games, so sometimes I finish them mm. when I go live, and in between the lives in which I'm just chatting with fans. But we mm. finished recently Uncharted. I actually brought God, the first God of War. Um, do you play Genshin Impact? No, never played it, but I really want to start it. It's I downloaded like a... it on my phone and never. It's Never like a Final it. Fantasy. It's like a Final Fantasy. Yeah, but there's way too many games like mm. Final Fantasy that I want to try mm. first, like Nier, <laughs> Automata, and Replicant. <laughs> good, good. Perfect. Now about the band again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What are the plans of the band after the release of this album? Do you have in mind a tour of Latin America? Uh, we have in mind a tour of Latin America, but maybe not dedicated to Kamal Eyes. We're only going to play one show in Milano next week. Uh, in which we will play all Kamalais plus all, all, a lot of other songs. Uh, and then uh, we're going to be leaving November, December for a tour. We already announced uh, the Australian dates and uh, the Indonesian dates, but there will be some more. Unfortunately, not South America. Mm. I can tell you now, I, I really wished we could put it together. But I am pretty positive that next year we're going to be able to To, to come back maybe in the second half because we were thinking about focusing on a brand new album uh, beginning next year mm. good and what advice will you give to a band that should start in the industry do what you really like don't do things to follow the trend don't do things to please people do what you feel be willing to fuck up because you can only learn from the mistakes you will learn to to adjust what you're doing and make it better and better but be yourself because only being yourself you can really enjoy what you do you can pass the excitement and you can be really original because if you follow the trend you might be successful for a little while but then there will be something new replacing you so just mm -hmm. be yourself and have fun perfect perfect chris We have reached the end, so yeah. I hope you had a good time. With me Thank you. It was great to talk to you about video games. I always get excited. <laughs> where, <you know. laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I hope to see you soon here in Buenos Aires. I'm from Argentina. I really hope so too. Mm. Ciao. Bye bye. Thank bye. you so much for the interview. Bye. Thanks to bye you. Bye. bye. bye.